two days before Christmas, we bond 500 million euro. Okay? Not us, but it was done on our behalf, the people of Ireland. 500 million euro bond. It made no headline anywhere. No headline anywhere. That was the sale of the first bond in the new promissory note deal. What happened was that back in 2009-10, Ireland was forced to put a noose around the people at a level of 32 billion in order that the euro system could lend to a busted bank that amount of money to redeem speculators in secondary markets. It began in 2010, the then Fianna Fáil Green Coalition government issuing notes covering massive central bank funding of Anglo-Irish Bank to the tune of 25.3 billion euro and Irish Nationwide Building Society to the tune of 5.3 billion. Both of those banks were already insolvent, well known to be insolvent, yet that money was drawn down from the EU's Emergency Liquidity Assistance Fund with the full knowledge and approval of the ECB. people would say that the existing promissory note arrangement was totally contrary to uh, so that was Ill bank. illegal totally you know <laughs> so I need I mean my argument all the time was so it's an improvement in its legality yeah I mean people were, some of the bank people were saying to me look what you're saying is illegal I said I used to say it was it's an awful lot more legal than what you agreed three years ago <laughs> I said, you know, will the money be destroyed? And he was a different world. He said the money will be extinguished. Let's say you went into your bank in the morning, you got a loan of 50,000 euro. The bank manager says, okay, there's your loan. It's on the screen in front of your bank button. The loan is now gone. But to, to stop paying the interest to me this year, and in 20 years' time, you can pay me the 50,000 euro. As John Locke once said, when the social contract is broken, the people must revolt. And this is a clear case of the social contract being broken, putting the interests of these unsecured creditors with political ties ahead of the interest of the public at large. That's, that's the very definition of, of tyranny. Uh, do you yeah, think what? Irish people should have to pay 42% of European debt? Look, the, the, I, Ireland is under occupation at the moment okay. from bank bankers. It's a banker occupation. Okay. So they need to they need to regain their uh, sovereignty. You would imagine that the destruction of half a billion euro by a broke, heavily indebted country would make headlines somewhere, but it hasn't. Between now and 2032, the Irish Central Bank will take in and destroy 28 billion, enough to build a state of the art water supply system. Instead, at the behest of the ECB, this broke country borrows billions to destroy in order to pay for the legacy of bailing out the European banking system. Um, 
Ireland is a very unusual country in that we have suffered extraordinary things to be done unto us and have barely squeaked in protest. I think more people came out to protest about Garth Brooks concerts than came out to protest about a 64 billion euro odious debt that means we can't run our schools and our hospitals the way they should be run. Uh, one group of people have stood up are the people of Ballyhay, so I, I'm here to support them. I think in an ideal world, we could get the uh, promissory notes uh, torn up. I think that is a huge ask. But there may, there, there may be a compromise whereby we don't sell them onto the markets, whereby we hold them at virtually zero interest forever and essentially let time bury them 2% at a time, 2% um, a year. Uh, I don't know, but I, I, I like what they're trying to do. We have a government that seems to be stand, sitting on its hands and saying, sure, nothing can be done other than we pay everybody money we don't owe them. Okay. These guys and I say that does not have to be true. That is not an orthodoxy we have to accept. The one, thing, the one thing I think that we have learned from this protest over the last 200 weeks is that the only way we get anything done is by uniting. By uniting. The only way we can do this is by uniting. That is the only way we can do this, is by uniting. By parting all of petty prejudices. So what we have to do is we have to change the minds of those who are making those laws. And if we can't do that, then we change those who are making the laws. Howard test one.